I was away on vacation for two weeks, so I couldn't record any videos in that time, but I do want to say thanks for the support shown on my tier list video. It was a risky move since I knew I would get disagreements, and it did get some people quite heated, but overall I think most people enjoyed it. Now I plan to upload some showcases to back up why I value certain units very highly. I want to start by showcasing Blade, since he is my HSR main. I was able to pretty easily 40k both sides of this pure fiction with Blade. For both halves, I did run Blade with Branya and Ron May since these are his best supports at the moment. In the first half, the final slot was Herda, and the plan was to use Blade to trigger Herda's follow-ups, and with both Blade and Herda's follow-up attacks, I should be able to get Whimsicality very often, and if you pair it with the energy regen buff, that would allow my characters to constantly ult over and over again. Therefore, with this combo, with the blade hurt a combo, the first half only took me 2 cycles to 40k. So uh, these runs kind of show that blade is very very versatile as a unit. He can be used as a second DPS in a multiple DPS team and this is really strong in pure fiction because you don't really need sustain so the more damage you can slot into a team the better. But also it shows that Hyper Carry Blade is still really really strong. The only problem is right now the only real good buffers for Blade are Action Advances and Ranmei. Everyone else kind of doesn't benefit Blade that well because they have attack buffs in their kit that Blade can't really make use of. I'm still waiting on a support character that Blade can fully benefit from. Like I know he can fully benefit from most of Ranmei's buffs but if the characters aren't wind weak, he won't benefit from the break damage of Ranmei. Right now this is how well Blade performs without a dedicated support. So if one day Blade does get a dedicated support, just imagine how strong he can be. Anyways, for the Blade mains out there, don't despair. He is not weak. I think it's nice that Blade is looked down on because that just means there's more likelihood he'll get buffs in the future in the forms of support units or something else. For the second half, I ran unlimited blade hyper carry with sparkle as the last slot, and as a refresher to how this team works, you want sparkle and Branya to be as fast as possible with sparkle being slightly faster than Branya. And so what would end up happening is sparkle will bring up blade, and then Branya goes right after to bring up blade one more time. This way your blade gets multiple turns. And then Ron May is just here because she is the best buffer at the moment for Blade. Now for the second side, because there aren't that many follow-up attacks being triggered, I ran the buff where any damage can trigger Whimsicality, not just follow-up attacks. Now even though the second half doesn't have Wind Weak enemies, Blade's AoE is just so strong that it doesn't, it doesn't really matter. Now this run isn't the cleanest, it was my first attempt, meaning there were no resets whatsoever. And because of that, there are mistakes in here that I did that could have been cleaned up had I did a retry. And particularly, there was one moment where I made such a bad misplay that I wanted to just restart, but I decided to just roll with it because I had so much time to spare anyways, so that mistake, even though it was bad, didn't really cost me the run. I'll bring it up when it happens. Save 
hate it at lending us strength. A blade knows no mercy. So this is where I made the biggest error. I popped Ron May's ult before Ron May actually takes her turn. Essentially meaning I lose one turn of her buff. And this made me want to restart the whole run, but I decided against it. The second mistake occurred here, where I popped my blade ult before Branya's turn so blade doesn't get Branya's buff on his ult. And I think at this point I was already tilted off of my first mistake and I stopped thinking. But in the end none of these mattered. There were a few other moments here and there that could have been played more optimally. But overall I was still happy with how painless this run was, especially since this was a one try no reset attempt. And in the end, I think it was quite nice to end the run off on a 1 million damage blade ultimate.